made the initial stop, but was in no position. Boucher behind the net gives the puck away on a good pinch by the Vancouver defenseman. And here's the shot, the rebound, backhand. Boulis jumps on it. And you can see that Zuboff tried to block the shot instead of going to the net with Boulis. And as a result, Boulis was unaccompanied. That was a great shot by rookie Yannick Hansen because it handcuffed Turco. He had no choice but to let off a rebound. And the Danish rookie has his first ever National Hockey League point, and it's a big assist that ties this game 1-1 on the Bulas goal. In Vancouver, you could feel them coming on, and the Sedins got it started on that last shift with Naslin. Yeah, they had good puck control on that one. That's part of their big strength as a line. Robida in the shift after a goal, lost control, but Vancouver comes out. Smolinski now with Pyatt and Linden. Smolinski, Taylor Pyatt shoots, gets his own rebound. Linden's in front, the centering pass. Went through some sticks and was knocked out to center. Isaac call against Dallas. You could hear, Harry, the teammates were telling Philippe Boucher to reverse, meaning come back behind the net. Instead, he went up into the crowd, and Morrison picked off his clearing attempt. Well, the defenseman pinched, and that was a good play by Olin to pinch and make sure that UC Yukonen could not get the puck out. And uh, Dallas never got it back. Bullis from Hansen and Morrison. And I'd give Olin an assist on that, too, but you can't do that. But he made the good play by pinching. 1-1 tie, Vancouver's first goal in 105 minutes and 18 seconds as Salo shoots and Turco made the save, although I'm not sure he saw it. The momentum has shifted here. Daniel Sedin back on the attack. Naslin goes to the net for Vancouver. Henrik goes by Daniel Sedin who hangs on. Naslin trying to feed the blue line, had his pass blocked by Joel Lundqvist. And the puck is cleared to center. Barnes was poke checked by Lucas Krychek. Henrik Sedin shoots the puck back in, and Vancouver changes on the fly. Well, he should be in for a good finish because Dallas got to get out of that defensive mode and go for a goal, and so do the Canucks, of course. We just can't be sure when the finish will be. <laughs> now, don't talk like that. We've already put enough time in in the fourth, fifth, and sixth periods. Dallas gets to center. Stu Barnes pursues the puck. Willie Mitchell is there with it. Mitchell to Krychek. Vancouver clears the puck on the Dallas change Boucher to Trevor Daly. Jokin has tipped the puck to center. Brent Sokol's there for Vancouver. Off the boards and into the attacking zone. Morrison couldn't get the puck. Now Jokin and hustles after the puck. Hansen got back and he touched the puck first and they get the icing call. Yannick Hansen lifted the stick, touched the puck, and it's an icing call against Dallas. It's a 1-1 tie on Hockey Night in Canada from Dallas. Philippe Boucher had the puck behind the net. Have a listen to this, the communication. I think it's Marty Turco talking to him. Telling Boucher to reverse the puck. Boucher either didn't hear him or didn't think he had to, and you saw what happened. Because if he every reversed it, there'd been no, the puck would have been in the corner with no traffic. Right, because everybody was on that side of the ice. The resulting rebound goal for Boulis. As this game not have been 1-1. Looks like another 2-1 victory for one of these two teams. What was your first clue, Sherlock? <laughs> Nicholas Hagman, Philippe Boucher, Ferradini fanned on a clearing attempt, and Boulis pounced on the puck but couldn't control it. The ice might make it difficult to make tape to tape passes. There'll be some bouncing pucks. And Ariel and Kevin Bieksa for Vancouver is back for the puck. His partner, Willie Mitchell, ahead for Trevor Linden. Hyatt got turned around, couldn't get the puck. Gary Lettinen pounced, heads for the net, stopped by Roberto Luongo. 
Remember to join us at cbcsports.ca. Pre and post game during the playoffs for Hockey Night Online, our exclusive post game show on the web has highlights, analysis, and the coaches' news conferences. And you can join us 45 minutes before our next broadcast on Tuesday for Hockey Night Online's pre game show featuring the warm up skate, previews, and other great online content. Stars get another draw. Zubov gets a shot just wide of the net. He just wanted to get that through, and he did. Not much on it, but enough. There's a centering pass. Nagy was tied up in front by Henrik Sedin, so he couldn't get his stick down on the puck. Vladislav Nagy again with Madano and Lettinen. Centering pass comes all the way to Daryl Sador. He shoots long with a save, and he pounces on the rebound as he's bumped in front. By Ladislav Nagy, who's chased away again. Well, Nagy took a swing at the puck, I think, after Luongo had it in his hand. And, and Luongo, Luongo hasn't moved for a while, so I don't know whether he's hurt or trying to make a point with the referee. But I don't think the referee called a penalty on it. One of them is talking to Nagy right now, Dan Marawelli. And I don't know that he's warning him or not, but. This would be a lousy piece of news for the Vancouver Canucks if, in fact, Luongo's hand is damaged. He has been incredibly durable. His backup is Danny Sabrin, who played just seven times so that they could get Roberto a rest. He doesn't often go down, and when he does, he's usually right back up, and he's starting to get up now. Here's a look at it again. You're going to see the puck lying dangerously right in front of him. There he puts his hand down, and Nagy... Not only did he take a swing at the puck, and it was right at the same time that he covered it, but did he kick him too going in there? Watch. Nope. Might have kicked he his might wrist. Have, yeah, he might have after. Might have been a, above the glove on the wrist where he kicks right. it. Right. Right there. Yeah, you're right. I don't think it was the stick that did the damage, if there is much damage, and a good news for. Everybody who's a hockey fan, Luongo appears to be all right. Relaxing, St. Leonard. He's okay, it appears. The West Coast held its breath, too. <laughs> Madonna wins another faceoff. Sidor with another shot, this time wider than it. The rebound chopped at. Ryan Smolinski to Taylor Pyatt, and he gets the puck out to center for Vancouver. Shot back in by Daryl Sidor. And Smolinski. Madano has Smolinski all wrapped up with his arm around him. They finally part. And Kevin Bieksa gets to center for Vancouver. Drops the puck off. Taylor Pyatt shoots the rebound. Steered to the boards by Marty Turkle. Mitchell threw the puck back at the net. Ladislav Nagy. Sergei Zubov under pressure. Two Canucks came at him. They knocked the puck loose. Lettinen has to come back to help for Dallas. He can't get out along the boards. Linden hits the door and he hurt him. Daryl Sador went down hard when Linden hit him, and now everybody jumps into this. Now, Sador was in the area. I don't think he ever touched the puck, but Linden thought he was going to and hit him. It wasn't an elbow or anything. It was just a, a body check. Daryl Sador is a little slow to get up. Let's have a look at it. Now that's not Sador. You're going to see him come in. Oh, he doesn't touch the puck, but he was going to. And Linden just knocked him down. There's Sador number five. He's just going to get the puck when Linden fills him in. He got him with the elbow. He didn't necessarily lift the elbow, but it was the elbow that went into his face. Well, he's up and about, so hopefully he'll be all right and back in action after taking a little breather on the bench. And he'll go for a little walk down the hallway towards the Dallas dressing room. Well, the good news is he's walking on his own. The bad news is he's going to the dressing room to be looked at more carefully by the doctor. Well, he may not go all the way. He may just stop down there in the hallway and collect himself and come back. And obviously no penalty on the play, and so they'll play five on five here, almost halfway through the third period in a 1-1 tie. Matthias Nordstrom. 
Now one of the matchup defensemen is out of the game for we're not sure how long. So Zuboff is playing with Nordstrom against the Sedins here. Henrik Sedin back in his own zone for the puck. With Marcus Naslin and Daniel Sedin. Brent Sopel is the puck carrier. Got in some trouble. Lucas Krajcek will try and bail him out. Daniel Sedin to Henrik Sedin. Sopel jumps up to join them at the blue line. He stalled the push to Marcus Naslin. Beats the puck in along the boards. Daniel City bumps shoulders with Zuboff. Zuboff kept his balance, played the puck to Nordstrom. He plays it out to center. Two big Swedish defensemen, Nordstrom and Olin, came together. Marcus Naslin, drop pass. Salo shoots, and a nice save by Turco against one of the hardest shooters in the league who skated into a slap shot. 1-1 one, one tie on Hockey Night in Canada on CBC. Sammy Salo, you don't want this guy having to be able to take a full stride before he shoots it. He does, and Turco makes a nice catch on a hard shot. Banana looked like he got a little slash on a follow-through from Willie Mitchell there. You can see him grimace in pain to the box. One of about 1,700 of those he'll get if he has a long playoff run this year. But Dallas has been sharp on the faceoff. They got another one. They got the puck out in a hurry, but they've iced it. So they'll have to do it again. And Vancouver can change. So they'll pull the fourth line and go back with Morrison's unit. Well, Sador's back on the bench. That's good news. He went down the hall. He didn't really go in the dressing room. I can look down the hall. The trainer and doctor looked at him on the way to the room. So he must have told him he was going to survive. Scramble draw. Dallas gets possession. Salo won't let the puck out, though. Just wide of the net. Jan Bullis, the goal scorer. He and Steve Ott go to the puck. Yannick Hansen behind the net. Morrison's out in front of the net. Hansen twists and turns. Morrow up the boards, not out. Bulas held the puck in. Daly battles with Morrison. Boucher. To Steve Ott, and he tipped the puck out of his own bench. Once again, time to vote for your three stars of the game. You can log on to cbcsports.ca slash three stars and cast your vote, or you can do it with a mobile phone. You text the team name and the sweater number to 25852. That'll be a 75 cent charge to do that. We'll have the results after the game, and if you join us, you're eligible to win Hockey Night in Canada prizes. Stu Barnes has scored on a tip-in. Jan Bull has scored on a rebound. We know that with these goalies, it's not likely a direct shot's going to get in unless it's perfect. <laughs> Lucas Tychek. Brent Sopel. Linden Smolinski into the middle. Linden's pass intercepted. Here's Yerry Lennon and shoots, and he just missed the net. Haven't been many of those mistakes, and somebody's going to make one, and it's going to might cost the game. When you're standing still and you make a cross-ice pass, you're flirting with trouble. Taylor Pyatt stood up by Stefan Robida. On rushing, Robida keeps the puck away from Pyatt. Nordstrom up to center. Nagy, he's poke-checked by Brent Sokol. Linden to Smolinski. The shooting didn't get deep. Nordstrom plays it deep, though, and Vancouver changes. Dallas wants to do the same thing. Mike Ribeiro takes a long pass. The excess stayed right with him and forced him back. Sedins and Naslin have come on. Here's Stu Barnes off the checking line. He was poke checked by the long reach of Willie Mitchell. Henrik Sedin, three on three. Naslin into the middle. Shoots. Turco the save. The puck's lodged underneath him, and he's afraid to move. And the Stars are taking uh, offense to the fact that Turco had the puck underneath him, and it looked like. Willie Mitchell, who was in there, was trying to dig it loose. Turco got a face full of snow here. Right there. Mitchell. From Willie Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> well, it cools you off, but if it gets in your eyes, it's not too comfortable. So he's going to take his time, Turco is, till he gets organized. He's got the eye drops. See what kind he uses. Might be able to make a mint. 
pushing those across the country. There it is. It's a blizzard. Shots in this period are eight to four in favor of Vancouver. They've had the mid.